What's going on everybody? I am the Keto Negro and welcome to my channel. Let's see what we got. What's going on y'all? Uh, just a brief overview of what this video is going to be about. Uh, right now it is two almost 2 o'clock. It's about 1.50 uh, in the morning right now. Still got to edit. Uh, but basically the video that's going to be uploaded is my day that I had Sunday and this is gonna be the inaugural video the first video ever uploaded so hope y'all like it uh, smack that thumbs up button hopefully I can get work out all the kinks everybody could subscribe if y'all want to subscribe uh, but check it out and what's up what's up just testing this out seeing how it goes I like this camera. I like this little stand I got. I'm gonna have to show y'all that here in a little bit. Uh, driving home, taking my daughter back to her mom. That's a little podcast. Truck just passed me. I'm shooting on my Samsung. Never really took advantage of this camera. Probably use it once or twice. But, uh, you know, checking it out. My daughter's over here asleep. She knocked out. Five minutes into the trip, she was out. But, you know, getting new into YouTube. See what it's all about. You know, it's a little difficult, though. They didn't, they didn't teach us this shit in computer class. We learned PowerPoints and Excel and shit like that. Uh, they need to do more video editing work and shit. Uh, but, you know, it's a new experience. I'm ready to get after it. And nice content to y'all. Um, you know, see what happens. I'm going to enjoy it. So, made it through the rain. Still listen to some Joe Rogan. People that don't know me, I listen to a lot. Well, even people that know me probably don't know. I listen to a lot of podcasts. A lot, a lot of podcasts. Uh, on my work phone alone, probably got six podcasts I listen to. Uh, Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan Experience. Uh, the Fighter and the Kid with Brian Callen, Britton Shop. Uh, Prince and the Wolf. Uh, Josh Wolf, Greg Prince Jr. They got their own podcast. Uh, who else? Uh, congratulations with Chris D'Elia, another comedian. A lot of my podcasts are comedians. Uh, all of them, actually, all of them. Uh, what else? Uh, the Church of What's Happening Now with Joey Diaz and Lee Syatt. Yo, people that don't know Joey Diaz and sleep on Joey Diaz, dude is a monster, monster comedian, funny. And he just tells how it is, tells his life stories, man. And I respect that. Cause that's what I want to do. I want to tell stories about what I know about. You know, I'm not gonna come out here, act hard. I mean, shit, I'm from El Dorado, Texas, 325, country town, one light. I've rode a horse before. I was in goat shows, you know, 4-H. So, you know, that's just what I can relate to it. It's funny, it makes me laugh, it makes my travels go easy. I travel a lot for work, uh, back and forth to New Mexico, to uh, Murchison, Big Lake. Uh, I live in Midland, Texas, so I travel a lot for work. You know, it's used to it, used to it. And it's worth it for this little one right here. Give her the best life that I can, and that's my job as her dad. So, you know, it is what it is. See, uh, the rain has subsided. No rain over here. I am right now in between uh, Garden City and Sterling City, heading to San Angeles. It is fuck beautiful. Love Texas, man. Flat, got some hills. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, just dropped my daughter off with her mom. Uh, always hate that feeling when she have to drop her off. And no, and she's not going to be with me during the week. Uh, but that's my set of circumstances now. I just got to do it. 
I mean, I'm used to having my daughter around me at all times when I'm not at work. So, you know, you know it's an adjustment period. You know, when I have her, I try to have a good time, you know, put a smile on her face, let her know that dad I loves her, first and foremost. I mean, everything that I really do, it's for the benefit of her in the long run. You know, even if it's just me trying to make some more money, trying new things, you know, I'll still apply that towards her. Be transparent with y'all as much as I can, but some things I got to keep it close to them and locked up in the pocket. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, just so y'all know, I am a co-parent, single, 28 years old, and just dealing with that lifestyle now. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, I try to stay positive as much as I can. And just thank God for every motive that I have with my daughter. And that's where I'm at right now. Uh, shit is looking bummy as fuck right now. Get that fresh, fresh from my cousin. And I'll see y'all there. All right. Just thinking while I'm driving, which I do a lot. Um, figured I'd let you know why I've started my YouTube channel and you know what it brought this shit on uh really you know they say people start youtube they just want to be internet famous which hey that happens it happens i won't be mad at that but really i just always wanted to do this you know i love creating my own content and just seeing if people you know like it you know if you like it you like it if you don't you don't i'm still going to continue to do it because this is what i've been wanting to do for a large part of my life. Uh, even in high school, you know, we'd have little projects and be like, make a PowerPoint presentation and I'd go the extra mile and, you know, put a video up. You know, something stupid that was barely edited but had like a script and stuff. Um, I, I tell my parents a lot of times, I wish they would have sent me to a school of the arts where I could cook and do music and make videos so I think this is going to be a great opportunity for me just get my voice out there and people like it they like it if not eh, it's cool you know in my channel it's going to be a lot of my life you know the life I live I am in the oil field been doing what I do for a good five years now I think coming up on six and I love it you know it's a great means to make some money keep myself busy so I don't have anything to do I start getting crazy and doing stupid shit so you know it gives me an outlet and right now I'm about to start phase two of fitness journey with my good friend Lalo Sanchez or as we'll call him the veggie Mexi keto Negro and the veggie Mexi you'll meet him uh, here pretty soon because he's gonna be actually living with me and that's what kind of brought this all along, you know. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I was like, man, I finally got a good workout partner, and he's going to be living with me. So, man, while we're doing this, why not shoot it and show our progress, you know, as we go along? You know, back into fitness itself, started, uh, my weight was at 258, and right now I'm at 222. So that's about 36 pounds down. And we ain't stopping right there. We're just going to keep going. Uh, the big goal out of this is to get as shredded, shred city as we can get. Get as fit as we can get. And I subscribe to a lot of guys like uh, Big Brandon Carter, uh, King Keto, you know, Big Brandon Carter, and uh, Christian Guzman that I've barely started getting into. He's a uh, fitness guy out of Houston, Texas, which is really cool, you know, a uh, guy out of Texas doing his thing, owns his own gym, his own brand, Alpha Elite. Fun with this, you know, see where it goes and push out some fire content. You know, it's all not gonna be just oil field life and us working out and talking about our diets and stuff. We turned up, you know, we're Texas boys. We're uh, from the country, from the 325 and a lot of times we do some stupid shit and why not record it and let y'all see us do some stupid shit so it's gonna be fun and you know that's what we're gonna do man uh hopefully 
y'all enjoying the first video uh hopefully i can get this edited right and man youtube is a monster but i'll conquer it just like anything else ain't nothing to it uh but yeah keep riding with us and take this journey along with us appreciate y'all Oh, it's... Okay. Ooh.